what up son so uh recently i um i'm not sure exactly what happened if i misplaced my laptop or if somebody broke into my car while i was playing basketball and stole it i'm not really sure what happened but the point is i no longer have a laptop um, i used to have a macbook and uh, it wasn't really that powerful and so i did a lot of my video editing and my work and my photography and stuff on my home computer which just happened to be a hackintosh yep right there in the corner that's my hackintosh so now that i wanted to get into a 4k workflow i wanted to get a more powerful machine that would help me uh, edit the videos that i take in 4k and just make everything a little bit more smooth because the current build that i have is a little bit glitchy sometimes so i thought i'll just scrap everything sell my hackintosh sell my asus uh, monitor and get a new computer uh, and a new powerful laptop at that so I went ahead and I, I got a new laptop and I want to show you guys that today. And by the way, the experience of getting this laptop was just mind blowing. It went a little something like this. All right, thank you so much, take care. I mean, what did you think it was gonna be? It's just, I just bought a laptop. <laughs> So of course, there's gonna be nothing extraordinary to see over here. It's just gonna be the regular boxing on the outside. Inside is the true gift because you're getting the latest and greatest technology. And for that, you're gonna to have to pay a whopping sum. So I paid $2,299 for this laptop, which is a mind boggling price. But when you think about the specs that you're getting, you kind of see why you have to pay a little higher price to be that early adopter of cutting edge technology. So with it, you're gonna get the latest CPU from Intel, which is the Skylake processor, which MacBooks don't even have anywhere near that now. You're gonna be getting two gigabytes of RAM for the video card, which is an NVIDIA GTX 960M, and that'll be way powerful to get you through any 4K or gaming or anything else you wanna throw at it. You're getting 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I wanna note, not only is it expandable to 32, but it's also DDR4, not 3. So it's gonna be the newer kind, which is at 2133 megahertz instead of the usual 1600. Apart from that, you have a slew of options for the hard drive, and the one that I got was a one terabyte solid state drive, which is massive. But you know, you get what you pay for, and $2,300 should have something as big as that. So obviously we're more curious to see what's inside the box. So let's go ahead and give it a your favorite tech channel signature unboxing. My first impressions holding this laptop, I was kind of a little bit confused because just looking at it, I want to think that it's so boring. There's nothing special about it, but when you actually hold the laptop in your hand, you can truly appreciate the build quality. Now Dell says that this is going to be made of a single block of aluminum, and I can totally see that because this thing feels solid. It has the chamfered edges on the side, it has these hidden LEDs, you know, on the front side of the laptop, and it's really, uh, you know, way better to hold than, than it is when you're actually looking at it. So, so as far as the connectivity goes, you're getting the USB 3 on one side along with the HDMI output, Thunderbolt 3. Now I want to emphasize this is Thunderbolt 3 which is just capable of a slew of things so that's awesome that Dell included it in this laptop. You're also getting the headphone jack which Apple, you know, currently wants to do away with but 
On the other side, you're getting the SD slot, so that's gonna be great for all you photographers who don't wanna bother with adapters and the USB slot and that kind of stuff. So you can go ahead and take your card, stick it right in. You're also getting a second USB 3.0 slot, as well as a status indicator for the battery, and you're getting the Kensington lock, just in case you happen to live in the Bronx, New York. And it's okay, I can say that because I was born there, so you know. It is the hood. On the bottom, you're gonna have two little lines of rubber, which enabled the laptop to be raised slightly off of the surface so that those vents over there can kind of help cool the laptop. Now on the front, that is where you're gonna find the speakers. They are positioned underneath, so they're kind of hidden, but they're kind of facing you in a way so that it can come from the front. And I don't know how I feel about these speakers. I mean, they're plenty loud, and I believe they're supported by Dolby, but they kind of sounded muffled to me, if that's a term that I could use. And I'm saying this coming from a person who had a MacBook. So just to give you guys perspective, the speakers were loud and great, but they sounded a little bit muffled. Um, that was just my impression. And last but not least, it is the number one selling point of this laptop. When you open it, you will find the glorious and beautiful 4K display. And yes, that is touchscreen. So they call it the Infinity Edge because it is 5.7 millimeters to its bezels, which is 59% smaller than the MacBooks, which is amazing because now when you look at this panel, which is IPS by the way, it feels as if you are just looking at something floating in front of your eyes instead of it being an actual monitor that you're looking at. So it's absolutely gorgeous and it is 4K. So for me, that is why I purchased this laptop. That is the main reason actually. If I'm gonna be shooting in 4K, editing in 4K, why not have a 4K monitor that I can preview everything on? So that being said, I wanna say this is the absolute most beautiful display I have seen on a laptop to date and I have no qualms about it whatsoever. And the touch screen is absolutely fantastic. There's no glitching, there's no lagging anywhere. Everything responds to the touch. And I will tell you guys, if you have ever used a laptop with a touch screen and it's so easy to just navigate the browser and everything, you will understand what I'm talking about. It is a luxury and going back to a non-touch screen is extremely difficult, as I would know. Now I say as I would know because I was using Adobe CS6. I know CC is out, but I was using CS6 and that's what I had. And whenever I had it on my laptop, for some odd reason that I can't explain, technical support can't explain, the online forums can't explain, everything was like so miniature on the screen I could barely see anything. I don't know if it's something with Windows 10 and a scaling problem, I don't know if it's the fact that it's a 4K display, but for me to use my programs such as Adobe Premiere, After Effects, or Photoshop, or Lightroom, I literally had to squint or come up all the way next to the monitor just to see the menu items and the icons and everything. Like, my neck is only like this, like, long i don't have a neck like like an emu or something to where i can just you know sit back over here and have my neck all the way in the front and be able to see the laptop up close you know what i'm saying so i tr i literally tried everything to fix this problem but apparently the solution that i found was stop using cs6 and update to adobe cc which wasn't a solution but it is what it is and as much as i like the laptop I, I, it was just too much of a hassle for me and I couldn't use it that way. So unfortunately, I had to switch back and to get something else. And for that reason, I ended up getting another MacBook Pro. 15 inch Retina, the latest and greatest. And uh, with that, you know, I just want to show you guys this Dell XPS 15 in case you guys were looking at getting one. And on another note, if you guys are not subscribed, I would suggest you go ahead and do that because my next video is gonna show you guys how to get $700 off of a new MacBook. Yes, $700. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.
Like, seriously, they should have just made this for emus or ostriches or something. Like, they would have been able to use this laptop more than me, so I think I should go ahead and give my laptop to an emu. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. There you go. Hey, here. Hey, no? Here, take it. Dell XPS 15 4K display. Try it. No?